A family is devastated after someone shot their companion dog with a pellet gun. It died the next day. Lena belonged to James Connolly. The 22-year-old had severe cerebral palsy. His mom says the dog would look out for him and help him relax. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily traveled to their rural Wright County neighborhood. She was his best friend. That was his most enjoyment. He has in life. Dina Connolly got Lena for her son James six years ago. She'd been his constant companion ever since. She'd jump right up on him and she'd lay right here with her head usually on his armrest. They had such a special bond. We told James on Sunday what happened to her and stuff and he started crying. I was actually right about here mm -hmm. and the little uh, Lena uh, was just around the corner. The minute I could see her, she was just screaming and you know in a lot of pain. Last Friday James's grandmother realized Lena had been shot by some sort of a pellet gun. Pellet went in her chest and then it went right through. The veterinarian told the family she thought Lena would survive but the next day the Cavapoo suffered a seizure. And she said she was dying and she died right there. You know I thought James would grow older with her and everything. She just meant so much to him. As they cope with the loss of Lena, they worry their other dog could be in danger when she's outside. You know, you think living out in the country, you're safe from a lot of things, you know. But I guess anywhere. It really hurts me that somebody would shoot a little 10 pound dog that hasn't hurt anybody, you know, and especially my son. Now, the Wright County Sheriff's Office is investigating, but says pellets don't have ballistics like bullets do. They need someone to come forward to solve this case. The Connollys would like to get another Cavapoo dog for James Frank. Well, it's just so horrible. I hope they figure out who did it. Yeah, definitely. All right. Thanks, Jen.